what's going on everybody how's it going everybody so today i'm here to kind of go on a rant about this broncos team i mean my god man it's a day later and i'm still feeling nothing but pain man i'm just feeling nothing but pain i'm fucking pissed off i'm very angry i mean this team is just pathetic man we're a poverty franchise we're a poverty organization and it all starts up there up the front like you know john elway the guy's a fucking loser john elway he's a bitch like he fucked his team up he, he was an awful gm oh he's not gm anymore i guarantee he still is because where the hell's george payton at yeah exactly nowhere to be found me and my high six talked about it a little bit but fuck man we're a trash ass team I can't believe. I'm. I, I'm not surprised we lost. Cause I, I picked Cleveland to win. I pick. I picked Cleveland to win. I, I'm not picking us to win again this whole year. How can you pick them to win? We're, we're trash. We lost to basically a bunch of backups. Case Keenum was just killing us. Vic Fangio, oh, this defensive coordinator, this defensive mastermind. Really, you fucking suck, Vic Fangio. You fucking suck. And Pat Shermer, don't get me started on you, motherfucker. You fucking suck, too. I can't believe you only ran the ball with Javante Williams four times and Melvin Gordon eight times. That's 12 times. That's pathetic. You ran the ball 12 times in a game. We're supposed to be a run-first team, but Pat Shermer just thinks Teddy Bridgewater is fucking Patrick Mahomes or some shit. I fucking hate Pat Sherman, man. I fucking hate that guy. I fucking want him fired tonight. I mean, I don't know how these guys still have jobs. I'm looking at the front office. George Payton. What are you doing? John Elway. You're up there peeking your binoculars. Why don't you fucking fire somebody? Why don't you fucking fire somebody? I can't wait till John Elway and Joe Ellis are out of the fucking building. They are a joke. It all starts with them. them. Them two clowns haven't run the franchise for years, and they've got us nowhere. They keep going after these bum-ass quarterbacks, fucking overpaying guys. I mean, they're, they're a fucking joke. And I can't wait till this the, till the fall or the, with the spring, because both their contracts are up, and they can get the fuck out of here. Hopefully, we get a new quarterback, new coaching staff. We need to clean house right now. We need a clean house. Get rid of Shermer. Get rid of Fangio. Get rid of Bridgewater. Get rid of Locke. We need some new faces and we need some changes fucking made. Oh my god. We're, po we're a poverty franchise. We're always picking the top 10 because we're fucking bums. We're fucking trash. We're a trash ass team. Trash ass organization. And like I said, it all starts with John Elway up there and Joe Ellis. Those two can get the fuck out of there, man. I fucking hate them guys. They fucking ruin our team. They set us back years. John Elway keeps trading for these bum-ass quarterbacks. Fucking signing bums. He did not know how to get his own position. John Elway was a great quarterback, don't get me wrong. But he can't even draft his position. He can't even trade for a position. He sucks. He can't get his own position. Like, he drafted Paxton Lynch, bust. Brock Osweiler was pretty alright. Trevor Simeon was pretty bad. <sighs> Case Keenum was alright. Joe Flacco sucked. Drew Locke sucks. Teddy Bridgewater sucks. The list keeps going on and on. The quarterback carousel is just keep going on and on and on. We need our own franchise quarterback. Fucking damn. That's why I hope George Payton will draft his own quarterback next year. And hope George Payton will clean house and get his own coaching staff in there. Because he was given lame duck coaching staff. Because he couldn't, he, he was given these lame ducks to Vic Fangio and Pat Shermer. And I, I knew them guys, Pat Shermer and Vic Fangio, weren't the answers. I knew they're not good coaching staff. Vic Fangio is not a good coach. He's a defensive coordinator. And Pat Shermer, frankly, he shouldn't even be in the NFL. Pat Shermer's fucking terrible. I can't believe... You only run the ball four times with a Javante Williams. Javante Williams is fucking out there breaking tackles. He's fucking out there basically carrying his offense sometimes because he, he's bringing spark. He's bringing energy to this offense that we don't have right now. Melvin Gordon, I don't know why he don't run the ball with him either. 
They just he refuses to run the ball twelve times in a game. That is pathetic. I mean, that is unheard of. Cortland Sutton had a good game. You know, the, the dude's still a baller, don't matter who the quarterback is. Cortland Sutton's out there balling, playing his ass off. Tim Patrick, he didn't really get much receptions, only two receptions. No offense. He had some freaking um, blocking issues. He's not a good blocker. No offense, not a good blocker at all. Let's be real. But he had 39 yards and five receptions. I mean, he was he played an all right game. Let's be. And the two touchdowns that Bridgewater threw were to both running backs, Melvin Gordon and Javante Williams. And you know, I was a Teddy Bridgewater stand, but I mean, at this point, why not bring in Drew Locke? You know. If Teddy Bridgewater is not 100%, why even play him at this point? Why even play him? He's not 100%. He, he was limping out there. He's not 100%. So why not just bring in Drew Luck at this point? I mean, we have nothing to lose. The season's over. And I guess I know, I know Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater won't be here next year, obviously. They're not the franchise answers. But I guess I kind of agree with Mile High 6. We talked about it a little bit. I mean, at this point, why not bring in Drew Locke? I mean, why not? I mean, what do you have to lose? The season's over. Or three and four. I mean, I don't really see us winning more, much more games. Honestly, I'm being, I'm being pretty realistic at the same time. I don't see us winning much more games. I just don't have. I don't see it happening. I just don't see it fucking happening. It wouldn't surprise me if we're gonna lose to Washington, because Ron Rivera, he's a way better head coach than Vic Fangio. I mean, Vic Fangio gets out coaching, out coach, and out coach every week. And Pat Shermer. He just gets, there's better offensive coordinators out there than that guy. I mean, I don't know, man. This team's a fucking mess. And like I said, I hope George Payton cleans the coaching staff out, cleans house, drafts his own quarterback, and he has a lot of decisions to do this offseason, that's for sure. And Case Keenum, man, I gotta give him credit. Case Keenum, the dude, the baller. I kind of wish the Broncos would have kept him as a backup because he's a good damn backup to have, in my opinion. And... Defe this Johnson guy, the, the Browns, the running back, I don't, I don't know what the hell's wrong with our defense, but 22 carries, 146 yards, a touchdown. We had no answer for that guy. We had no answer for DeForest Johnson. DeForest Johnson. The dude, the dude was just running all over our defense. Could not stop the run. That's another thing. Why is Vic Fangio considered one of the best defensive minds in the NFL, and he lets a third-string running back over 100 yards? That, that is absolutely pathetic. I mean, that is just a joke, man. Austin Hooper had a pretty good game. Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham, they got hurt, but, I mean, they still whooped their ass. Their backups even kicked their ass. That's sad. That just tells you how bad of a fraud team the Broncos are, how bad of a team the Broncos are in general. We just let backups fucking destroy us. I mean, that is just pathetic. And, yeah, we're going to be a fraud team. We're going to probably go, I don't really see us winning much more games. That's being realistic. I've lost all confidence in the team. I've lost all hope. The players are giving up on this fucking coaching staff, you can tell. I mean, they just don't want him here anymore. And I don't know how, like, George Payton or up there and John Elway or whatever. I don't even fucking know who the GM is anymore. But how are they just up there letting this happen? I mean, they don't. They have to make a move. Fucking fire somebody. It's just pathetic. Fire somebody, man. Fire Shermer, at least. Don't wait till the end of the season. Just get rid of Shermer. I understand you probably won't fire Fangio in the season, but just get rid of Shermer, man. I mean, this offense is pathetic. It's a joke. So hopefully the Broncos clean house after the season. They, I think they will. Hopefully George Payton gets a um, draft his own quarterback. Get rid of Teddy Bridgewater. Get rid of Drew Locke. And we have some we have some big free agents. Dude. We have some big free agents that are going to be free agents like Von Miller, Cortland Sutton, Tim Patrick, Melvin Gordon. But there's still like 10 more games left, and we'll, we'll see what happens. But I just don't see us winning much more games. I've lost all confidence and all hope in this team. And this coaching staff is just a joke. Probably one of the worst coaching staffs in the league right now, if not the worst coaching staff in the league. Van Joe and Shermer need to be fired. Of course, Tom McMahon, he's to get out of here too. Special teams is an all is just a joke too. All three sides of the ball are a joke right now for the Broncos. But yeah, but make sure you guys drop a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys. And drop a comment down below. And us Bronco fans are, are feeling nothing but pain at this point. We're feeling nothing but fucking pain. It, it's a shame. 
us Bronco fans got to sit here and sit here through six seasons now of misery. Every fucking year, nothing changes. I'm so tired of it. We're a fucking re irrelevant now. We used to be so good with Pat Bolin, but now Pat Bolin would never allow this to happen. He would have fired John Elway years ago. But fucking ridiculous, man. I can't wait till John Elway and Joel Ellis are out of the building. Fuck them guys, man. They're losers. But yeah, guys, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. All the good stuff on the channel. And let's go Broncos. Oh, man. It's, it's going to be a long season, guys. A long, bumpy season. So sit back and relax and watch us just keep fucking losing, man. Peace out.